Town, a bridge between two communities. And that's what churchgoers said happened today when the oldest Muslim American organization in the country joined the congregation at the Lakeside Lutheran Church for its final service. The Amidia Muslim community of Harrisburg recently bought the church building and plans to convert it to a mosque. The plans come at the same time as the controversial plans to build a mosque in New York City. And it's controversies like this that the leaders of both communities are hoping to change. It was, it was sort of overwhelming. Um, you know, when, when the Muslim community is receiving so much bad press these days, it is good to know that there is a group out there promoting peace, love, and, and joy. There is a tremendous coming together of everybody, Christians and Muslims. And uh, to me, that is remarkable. That's the thing, the other thing which I'm here to commemorate. The Muslim services start at the building immediately. We turn our attention now to meteorologist Matt Ritter and our first look at the forecast for the world. The Lakeside Lutheran Church in Harrisburg will now become a mosque. After 40 years, church members said goodbye with a final service that included the reading of the Quran. Dave Marcheski reports. A handshake and an embrace. brought Islam and Christianity together in what many describe as an unforgettable moment. It was sort of overwhelming, um, you know, when, when the Muslim community is receiving so much bad press these days, it is good to know that there is a group out there promoting peace, love, and, and joy. It was really uh, amazing, and it was everybody who was here today, it was a very emotional uh, soul-searching moment. Ironically, the Lakeside Lutheran Church on Division Street in Harrisburg is the place that united the two religions. That moment also signified a change for Lakeside. Low attendance and little money forced the 40-year-old church to dissolve. Recently, Lakeside sold its place of worship to the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. So, on Sunday morning, tears flowed as the congregation said goodbye with one final service. The camaraderie with, with, with all the, the, the parishioners here is just, it's going to be sad to, 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 to see it back. Now, church members like Mark Matson must look for a new house of God to call home. I guess it's just going to be like shopping for a, you know, a new vehicle, you just have to go and see where you're going to fit in. With only two makeshift mosques in York and Mechanicsburg, many Muslims are happy to have a new home in Harrisburg. It's a great feeling to have a worship place so close to your house and uh, you can get a little more spiritual than you would otherwise. That'll mean Lakeside will need a makeover. While it'll take about a year to transform this church into a mosque, Mumbashir Mumta says only the appearance will change. The good thing is that it'll stay the house of God and we are really looking forward to continue their message of peace, love, service to the community forward. It will have a different name, but essentially the message is going to be the same. Most of the Christian elements inside the church are still usable. So, where are they going? Well, you may remember the Christ Lutheran Church in Dillsburg that burned down earlier this year. Lakeside officials plan to send over the pipe organ, altar, baptismal, and pews to help out. Dave Marcheski, ABC 27 News. Tomorrow.